Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sweet Generations. For today's meal, we are going to be having some sliders, crispy dogs, and broccoli and cheese macaroni with a side of pickles. And you know I love my hot Cheetos, so I had to get some Cheeto dust. Alrighty, so what should I get first? Maybe these crunchy dogs. If y'all have never had this, it's just corn tortilla with cheese and a weenie on the inside. You can hear the crunch. Cheeto. Mm. I really want to actually do the pickle with the Cheeto dust. It's not that much, but let me try to add a little bit more on there. There we go. Pickles were in the fridge, so they're very crunchy. And then I also just got regular pickles. I'm curious to try these sliders. There's some Himalayan salt on top of it. And I'm gonna see the way it is. Mmm. I had cheese guys, but I didn't get to put it in. I don't like raw onions. I like to cooked onions, so this is the only way that I would probably eat an onion. It's just cooked. Mmm. That's very good. I know everybody has their different way of cooking sliders, but all I did It was ground beef, garlic powder, onion powder, and I put it in my air fryer, and we were done. All right, guys, let's get into this broccoli and cheese macaroni that I made myself. Mmm. Wow. It has like the broccoli crunchies in there. It's not like I thought it was going to be, but it, it's good. What do you have plans in the next few months? In the next few months, the next few months I plan on going on a cruise. I've already been on one previously. It was called The Breeze. And it was pretty amazing. I love the experience. I love the, the vibe that was there. Um, the food, the drinks, just the scenery itself, the dancing. It was, it was amazing. And how we, were, we were surrounded by amazing people who just loved being there and just was having the time of their life. It was a time to relax and just enjoy life for what it really is, just to live it and cherish it. So I plan on going on another cruise. It's gonna be three weeks old, guys, and if y'all don't know which one I'm talking about, I am talking about the Jubilee. 
it is going to be the biggest ship sailing from Galveston. So I'm very, very excited. And I am going to take y'all with me just so y'all can see what I see. It's, um, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We are going to... We are going to Costa Mel, Costa Maya, and the Mahogany Bay. So I'm going to take y'all guys along with me just so y'all can be there and experience it with me because y'all are my family and I love y'all. Let's get back to the seating. Mm. For some reason, the macaroni has a very sweet taste to it. Or maybe it's just because there's rock salt on here. It can just easily be popped off. I just like the crunch of the salt. Gotta give the man behind the camera some food too. He needs his nourishment. So guys, while I was on my first cruise, the breeze, we did go to an art auction, and there was very beautiful paintings by Dante. And if y'all don't know who Dante is, he's a creator of the book. It's the it's called the Divine Comedy. If you haven't read it, I highly suggest you do read it. it is it is a very amazing book it talks about the purgatory of what someone has to go through from heaven hell no. the middle the beginning the end heaven present and hell if you have never read this book before it's called the divine comedy by dante he's going through purgatory which is heaven the present and hell to find the love of his life I'm not quite done with it yet. I'm kind of in the middle of it. But from what I did read is that he goes through some very tragic times. And the book is very illustrated. As you can see, there's a man and a woman. And there's a fallen angel that's there. So guys, a little quick thing that I wanted to let y'all know was while I was on the breeze, there was an auction that was there and they were talking about Dante's Inferno. And if y'all haven't ever read about it, it is this book right here. It's called The Divine Comedy by Dante. He was an artist and he did show a lot of pictures. This book is it's very good. It is very graphic when it comes to the stuff that happens. As you can see right here, there is Dante and Beatrice. On this side, there is a demon. So a little bit about this book that I can let you know is that he goes to three realms to find Beatrice, the love of his life, where she leads him to, into heaven. So if you've never read it, I do suggest you read it. I'm halfway done with it, but the parts that I have read, it is a very wonderful book. So I suggest you read it, guys. I just needed to get that out of the way because this book is amazing. After that auction, I just, I had to get the book. I had to buy it. So when I bought it, I couldn't put it down at all. So it's a very good book. Oh, and the front right here, guys. The front right here. Okay. So as you can see, there's a lady right here. This is Beatrice. That's Dante. And that is the demon who is trying to lead him into hell. But Beatrice, since she loves him a lot, she's going to try to lead him back to heaven. So. It's a good read, y'all. Okay. Let's get back to reading. You know what's really good guys these you know what's really good guys these pickles with the cheeto dust so i really love these pickles guys they're really good they have a very good crunch to them 
Next time, I kind of want to... I've seen it where they gut out the pickle and they add cream cheese with jalapeno. I've never tried it, but I want to. So if y'all have, let me know how it tastes. Cheeto for balance. These Cheetos, guys, they're the lime ones. For some reason, I cannot eat the regular ones. I have to have the lime ones. I love that citrusy flavor that comes along with it in the back of your throat. I don't know why I did that. When I did this, there was a song that came into my head. I just can't say it. But, you know. Mm. I am drinking a beverage, but it is diet for balance. so guys how have y'all been i've missed y'all very very much i'm curious to know what has 2023 brought in for y'all what have y'all done have y'all gone on any adventures have has what has happened I'm, I'm curious to know i'm very very curious to know so if you want to let me know just leave a comment down below and I would be happy to hear, and if I get a chance, I will reply back to you. More than likely, I will. I love hearing about the good things that happen to y'all, and even if they're good, bad, I still want to hear it because I'm always going to be here for y'all guys. Just know that. Because here in Sweet Generations, we are a family. If you are some background noise, guys, I'm sorry. My neighbors are building on the other side. So, they're building a playground for their kids. Once it's done, I'm going to go over there and play with their kids. Guys, y'all ready for Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is one week away. And then Black Friday, guys. It's going to be crazy. The only thing is I work in the morning, so it shouldn't be that bad, but I know the afternoon is going to be crazy and I'm going to be one of those crazy people running into all the stores trying to grab nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Whenever y'all do go shopping for Black Friday, guys, what do y'all like to get? Let me know in the comments below. Do y'all like to get TVs, washing machines? Who sells washing machines? Hey guys, y'all wanna hear something funny? You know how Black Friday when everybody runs into the electronics station? I'm running to the pharmacy. Just to stock up all my medications because there's usually nothing. And I, isn't it everything 50% off or just certain items? If y'all do know, let me know. This, this is going to be my first Black Friday that I actually go out because before I used to work at night so I wouldn't be able to shop. So let me know. Blue. 
I don't know what it is about pickles and hot Cheetos that make it so good. Before I eat this, I'm going to start doing vlogs, guys. So I'm going to take y'all along with me every day. That way y'all can see a little bit about my vibe because I do want to let y'all in more. So get ready for that. I have been on a hair care journey, guys, for my hair. I stopped straightening it for a while, just so my curls can come back. And as you can see, they're back. Thanksgiving guys, what do I like to eat? The only thing that I don't like, <clears throat> there's two things that I don't like from Thanksgiving. It's ham and yams. Those are the only two things I don't like from Thanksgiving, but everything else, just give me a big plate, serve me, let me sit down and go we'll enjoy this meal together. I am gonna do a video for Thanksgiving guys, so get ready for that one. Macaroni is really good. Mm. This just has cheese. It's very cheesy. Before, whenever I had eaten it, I had like pulled it apart and it was like a really good cheese pull. But I guess now that it's a little bit cool, the cheese pull won't be as good. But I'm going to try to give you all a cheese pull. It'll be better next time, guys, I promise.
this texture a little crispy. But it's good, it's crunchy. But they're called crunchy dogs. I toasted the bread on the sliders, guys. So you can hear like a little, let me give you. I don't know what it is about pickles. Pickles are really good. I do enjoy eating pickles. I really do. I like my shirt, guys. Support of the Backstreet Boys. Guys, well, like, speaking of delicious, there is this sushi restaurant on the ship that is just amazing. They give you this beautiful platter when you purchase it. Of course, there is this beautiful platter of. Like it's beautifully arranged of sushi. They also give you a little bowl of miso and it is beautifully prepared, guys. It is very authentic. The people who run it are very nice. They're very respectful. I will post a picture here, guys, just so y'all can see it. So guys, whenever you are on the ship, your body will acclimate back into the, just the rocking of the boat. It's not too, too bad, but guys, whenever the sun set, the view is beautiful, especially guys in the Serenity deck. Oh, I can't wait to show y'all. The only thing about the Serenity deck, guys, is there's no kids allowed in there. It's just for adults. So if y'all do have kids, just make sure y'all don't take them to, to the Serenity deck because they won't be allowed to go in there. They do have little game rooms for the kids, that is, I did, I did go into one and they have a lot of dancing, they have board games, they have, they have a lot of cool stuff for kids. So if you are planning on taking a trip, it is kid friendly. <laughs> we did get a couple of print paintings, guys. They are very beautiful. I do have them put away at the moment. So guys, while I was at the art museum, 
you did get a couple of prints. I'm gonna show them to y'all. I am waiting for a frame to come in. I did purchase a frame, but I'm waiting for it to come in. But look at this, guys. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful painting. This painting was from, if I'm mispronouncing his name, I'm very sorry, but it looks like it's from Cassaba Marcus. So this was the painting that I did get, guys. It is from, if I'm mispronouncing his name, I am very sorry, but it looks like it's from Cassaba Marcus. If y'all do know who that is, let me know. This was the print that I had got. I am waiting for my frame to come in, guys. That way I can hang it. But this is the one that we had got for going to the RP. Start blowing it. Give our love to Jesus, y'all. Do you want it to be dipped? Some pickle? Good, right? We love pickles, guys. In this household, we love pickles. Pickles are good. So, guys, I'm pretty much done with this ready. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the side. I do have a dessert, guys. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can bring my dessert. So guys, for my dessert, I am having conchas. If you don't know what that is, it is just a Mexican sweet bread. It's pan dulce. The inside is very airy. You can see. It's very good. I love dipping this in coffee. Or having it with hot chocolate. Very, very good. If y'all like if y'all do like eating pan guys, let me know which one y'all do enjoy eating. I do love eating the marranos. It's very airy. If y'all do like eating pan dulce, let me know which one y'all do like. I do like eating the marranitos. Mm. When I was younger, guys, I used to pull off the little Eat the little crispy parts, and I would eat it, and then I would just give the bread to my sister. I would get in trouble. Mm. That was really good. And this is where I gotta make these guys. If y'all have a recipe, let me know. I know one year my husband did make them for me. They were really good. So guys, I think that's gonna be it for me for today about the eating part. Pretty much done. I will save this for tomorrow so I can drink some cafecito with it. Dip it in or maybe some hot chocolate, dip it in. Until next time guys, I love y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And thank you, thank you, thank you all so much. I love y'all, my little sweet generations. Bye.